honor to be here. You know, I'm a very proud Pennsylvania resident. Um, I began my life in Pennsylvania working on behalf of young children who are developmentally disabled. I ran the Planned Parenthood in Harrisburg for many years before I became president of NARAL Pro-Choice America in Washington, D.C. in 1985 and was there for 20 years. It has been a long and difficult journey for women throughout the century and into this new century to gain rights of equality, rights of reproductive freedom, um, rights of dignity, and that journey has been a journey that has needed leaders like Joe Huffle. And I have known Joe Huffle since I was director of Harrisburg Planned Parenthood. Uh, and he was in the state legislature then. It was a tough time in Pennsylvania. We had a governor who was not very, not very supportive of a woman's right to decide whether or not to become a mother, under what circumstances, and when. And it was a tough time in the legislature. Never once did I ever have to worry about Joe Huffle knowing and understanding the critical importance of reproductive health and the right of women to decide for themselves, without the government's interference, when to become mothers and under what circumstances. I never had to worry that Joe Huffle understood that reproductive freedom and choice was not an issue unto its own, that it was a central right of women to full freedom and equality. Without the right to determine our reproductive lives, Joe knew we had no ability to be free. Forty years ago, in this state of Pennsylvania, I suffered the humiliation of illegal abortion. I had to appear before a hospital panel composed of all men when faced with a crisis pregnancy uh, to get their permission to have a therapeutic abortion, a hospital abortion, rather than a back alley abortion. I had three little girls. My husband had walked out on me. I was pregnant again. I could not carry that pregnancy to term and be the mother I needed to be all alone for my three little daughters. But I was scared to death to go to the back alleys of this nation because I was worried about my three daughters. So I went through the indignity of appearing before this panel of doctors who rendered a judgment because of government intrusion over my life and had to decide that I was unfit to be a mother in order to be granted permission to have what was called then a therapeutic abortion. Never mind that I had three little girls. Never mind that I was, you know, I, I, it was a terrible time of my life. And I have pledged my life to women and children ever since. They are linked. Joe Huffle knows that investing in women, in their health, their education, their skill training, their job security, their economic security, means a healthy community, a healthy nation, a healthy world. And that is why I'm here today for Joe, and I intend to work very, very hard to talk to the women of Pennsylvania. This is a very important race in Pennsylvania, extremely important race for women, for all Pennsylvanians. Um, and there's only one leader, one leader whom we can depend on absolutely without question to be there for women and families in the tough times uh, without, without doubt, and that is Joe Huffle. And it's uh, my pleasure, just my, my very distinct pleasure, uh, to introduce him. I worked with him, as I said, in the legislature here. I worked with him in Congress. I saw him stand up for women time and time again in Congress. And uh, I'm, I look forward to his governorship. I think it will be a new day for Pennsylvania. So my pleasure to introduce the next governor. So,